we did a realistic image, for some reason most neuroscientists just do only show bars and stripes and all kinds of things. Maybe if you showed a realistic image, you'd start seeing objects forming inside the general field. And maybe what we really need is topology to help us understand the mathematics of how we build objects for representation. And maybe if you really get it very precisely, you put a lot of intelligence into the circuit, you can start building little people. You start building scenes. And then what you need is you just need spikes to animate these little objects. And it could be that they even become real complex scenes. Analog scenes across the Denrelli space. So we did a very quick simulation just to play with this idea. We took the Denrelli column and voxelized them and said they threw away the mirrors. Okay. And take each of the voltages and we map the voltages collectively within the voltage into each of these voxels. Alright? So we're just looking at the brain now as a block of tissue. You've got to remember that 90% of the brain is just dead weight. So we're looking at it as a block of, of dead really tissue. This is what happens if you disconnect it. There's no internal. If you disconnect the circuit and you just do Poisson stimulation. Nothing interesting. It follows exactly what you what's the pattern of Poisson stimulation with which neurons you stimulate. But now you disconnect it. It's not connected intelligently, but you just connect the circuit. And what you immediately start seeing is the formation of complex structures or objects. Something that deviates from just a simple structure. So here it's just showing you. Let me go to another one. That's just a single voltage where EPSPs are occurring across a single voltage range. But this is where you have two different voltages, so you can actually see that the, the complexity of these objects could actually take on several different forms. And you can actually see that they do cluster. So somehow the voltages across the is coming from different neurons. Even when you just do Poisson stimulation, if you have a circuit with some form of connectivity, they start clustering. So what happens if you could really put intelligence into those circuits? This is just to give you the feeling that actually if you zoom inside there, it's not just that it's an object, it's not just that it's a chair, it's an entire universe. You could actually have a whole scene of inside a region of memory. 